for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Hello, everybody. It's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story is about a little pig called Olivia. Maybe you heard of Olivia. Olivia has a few other books too, but we're going to start with this original. Olivia. It's uh, written and illustrated by Ian Falconer and copyright in the year 2000. This is Olivia. She is good at lots of things. She is very good at wearing people out. She even wears herself out. Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He's always copying. Sometimes Ian just won't let her alone, so Olivia has to be firm. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, her dog, Perry, and Edwin the cat. In the morning after she gets up and moves the cat, and brushes her teeth and combs her ears and moves the cat. Olivia gets dressed. She is going to try on everything. On sunny days, Olivia liked to go to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. Last summer, when Olivia was late, her mother showed her how to make a sandcastle. She got pretty good. Sometimes Olivia likes to bask in the sun. When her mother sees that she had enough, they go home. Even, oh, sorry, every day, uh, Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for her ear, you know what, her mother says. Of course, Olivia is not at all sleepy. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture. Olivia looks a little funny for a long time. What could she be thinking? Hmm. But there is one painting Olivia just didn't do get. And I could go do that. Uh, <laughs> but there is one painting Olivia just doesn't get. I could do the sheet in about five minutes, she says to her mother. As soon as she got home, she gives it a try. Time out. After a nice bath and a nice dinner, it's time for bed. When they're finished reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, You know, you really wear me out. But I love you anyways. But Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyway, too.
the end. Well, Olivia, you sure like to stand up for what is wrong or perceived wrong. Good on you. That's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and we'll see you next time. Bye.